Hello there, and welcome to Blender. I am going to teach you today how we're going to model. We're going to make a head of a dog. We're going to make a body. And in this tutorial, we're going to cover the basics. We're going to look for our screencast keys. Press N. And we're going to enable the box. We're going to change the color. And make it bluish. And you can download screencast, you know, in Blender. It's free add-on. And everything we're gonna do, it's gonna be on the left corner. And if you get lost, you're gonna look back and you can see what I typed. We're gonna delete all this. We're gonna look for some for something new. Now we got everything clean. We're gonna add a cube or a plane. Well let's start with a cube. Now, some people use a cube, some use a plane. It's whatever you like. We're gonna make this simple. Now that we got a cube, we're gonna be using edit mode or object mode. I'm gonna teach you later how to use scope mode. And I'm gonna use the move button. I'm gonna go right or left. Up or down just seeing the simple moves. We're gonna also press the rotation button. You wanna move your box any angle you want. You can do that. Just something simple. And if you get, you know, make a mistake, or do something you can use undo, redo, control Z, we're gonna go to the size button. And we can make it big or small, whatever size you like. Something simple. We're gonna move our box a little. Now uh, you can see our box, it's ready for us to make little cuts, we're gonna go in edit mode. Now, for starters, using loop cuts, we're gonna, you know, start the same, you know, where the eyes are gonna be, where the mouth is gonna be, you know, try to use your imagination. Some tutorials teach you to use only, you know, use your imagination or use a piece of paper. We can click it and we can move them. Decide where we're gonna make loop cuts, where they're gonna be stationed. You know, we can also use the, the subdivision button. If you don't want to make so many loop cuts, you want to figure out things, uh, or you want to do it the easy way, subdivide it. That way, all these vertices, you can move them however you want. I'm just showing you this, so I prefer using loop cuts, but you can subdivide. Later, we're gonna smooth it. You know, if you don't want to make a, you know, don't want to make, you know, a cube, you want to make it more like a face, you can look for the smooth button, smooth vertices, and once we do that, you can realize you can make it more like a sphere, however you like. Now that we've done that, we just wanted to show you a method here, method here. I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna add a mirror modifier. Sometimes when you're gonna model and you wanna make sure that one side is the same as the other, you wanna be very, you know, equivalent, very precise. Uh, professional use a mirror modifier. That way, when you're making a dog, human, cartoon, when you make a building, architecture of things, you use the mirror modifier. You make sure everything's even on one side, and you don't have to work double. And it's more simpler that way. We're gonna add a mirror modifier. We just did the uh, loop cuts, subdivision, we just simplify things. And we're just gonna make the nose. So that way, whenever we're gonna work this, we're gonna just use pointers now. The eyes and the nose. We're gonna now select the vertices and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna delete them very soon. You just use your imagination however you like and try to make a dog's head. We're gonna select the vertices and we're gonna make this work. Now once we select the vertices, we're gonna press X and you know delete them. Make it simple. And we're gonna later on Add the mirror modifier. Now that we've done everything, we're gonna look for the mirror modifier. 
Right here. Let me look for it. Let's look for it. Ah, oh, there it is, down there. Now everything you do on your right side, it's gonna do on your left. That way, if you forget, you know, one position point on the right side, and you're doing the left side, and you don't remember how you did the right side, it can be tiresome. You just make a mirror modifier, and everything you do on the right will be on the left. Simple. We're gonna also add clipping. Alright. You know, it's something very simple. You know, it's like a teacher once said, there's no bad question in the world. The only bad question is the one that you don't make. You know, stupid question, bad question. Whenever you're, you're mulling, you gotta make some mistakes so you can make things right. We're gonna add the eyes now, and we're gonna add the mouth. You can see that we're just moving things and it's popping up in the left side. And you're gonna be happy. There we go. That looks like that. We're gonna, you know, keep pushing things. There we go. I made uh, also a modifier by subdivision. You can add that if you like. I'm just showing you it. Really, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm just gonna delete it. Right? There we go. You can see that we're making the model right. We're gonna make the eyes, the mouth. I'm gonna use proportional editing. I'm gonna size it now. Make it a little bit more wider. The dog face. Now, if you learn already, when you're choosing the vertices, and you move one, it becomes like a pyramid. Now, for some people, that just makes it, you know, makes it simple. But you're just gonna do one thing. You're gonna click the proportional, you know, button there. There we go. Now, when you move something with the move button, it's gonna rise, not like a pyramid, but like a hill, like a mound. So it can be, you know, more natural. It can be organic. So we're gonna make that head. So it's gonna look like a skull of a dog. And when you let go of it, the person will edit button. It becomes a pyramid. You can make it, you know, spiky. And I'm gonna do spiky head. <laughs> there we go. Just gonna, you know, move some parts. Make sure the head's alright. Once we're doing that, I'm gonna use my imagination. Looks pretty good. We just did this. We're starting making the art. Now we got a head. We're gonna make the eyes very soon. And we're doing a good job. So I'm gonna delete this. Oh, but the eyes are very big. We're gonna correct this. Alright, we just, you know, use the face button. So it's just smaller now. It looks so big. We're just gonna make the mouth. Just click that, but I also picked the part behind. Just gonna take it one by one. There you go. See, that our head is moving. Moving the eyes. There we go. Just expand it a little. We wanna make it look funny. Later we're gonna do the mouth. We don't wanna make it, you know, expand things too much. Now that we we start making the eyes. We click things. Take the vertices correctly. We delete it. Now we got a smiling dog. 
we got something simple now. You know, this is just a simple tutorial. I hope you liked it. That's how we make uh, a small head. We're gonna save. Always remember, save your progress. Just in fact, uh, in this tutorial, I just saved it at the last, but I usually save it, you know, after 10 minutes, 20 minutes, every time I'm working on my models. Just gonna put a name there. There you go. I hope you enjoyed the first part. Join me for the second part. We'll continue to make dog models.